What's up, you guys? It's Jazz, and I'm back with another episode of I Can't Make This Up. And on today's episode of I Can't Make This Up, we're going to be talking about the fact that Loose Cannon exposed Big U um, for allegedly having something to do with Nipsey's M. So we're going to go ahead and get into it, you guys. I have a video that I'm going to play. Shout out to No Jumper. They went on No Jumper and they had this little interview. So I'm going to play the clip and then we're going to talk about it when I come back. But if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when I do post more videos like this. And also don't forget to hit the like button. It's a free way to support the channel and it lets YouTube know that we are here, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, Stop what? Fuck you mean, man? Fuck you talking about? No, because listen, so after I talked to Nipsey and I was like, yeah, I love you cuz or whatever like that, I'll see you later or whatever. So I hung up the phone, I thought that you gave wrong information. 30 minutes later, the homies blowing me up like they just killed Nipsey. And so I'm like, wait, 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 wait. You get a call from Big U telling you Nipsey just got killed. Yeah. You panic called Nip. Nip answer the phone. Yup. And uh, you like just okay. talking on regular. So regular. it's like at the end of the day, I didn't even think about it because you don't even up. warn him that you got that call from dude. No, because their relationship was so fucked up. It'd be like they be hot one minute, then they be cold the next minute, and then they be lukewarm. Like you and just thirty minutes know. after you get off the phone with Nip, he get killed. Yeah, I got so it. So you on think him. he hit you a, a little too early? Yup, he hit me a little bit too early because uh, the homie City, um, like the Nipsey story that you just told me, so explosive. Yeah, speak to them on why they should believe you because I guarantee that's a huge mistake. Because the conversation that's happening right now listen, is people saying, listen, listen, I, I, listen, listen, I don't listen. know a ton about you to like verify it, so, and I, I don't have a ton in this fight. Everybody, listen, everybody in, everybody that knows me, LA in the world and stuff like that know I'm not gonna just sit there and lie. Plus, it's on my TV show. The first episode or whatever on February 14th, then y'all gonna see the FaceTime call with me and Big U, and then wait, 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 the, wait. The, the, the next motherfucker We're not is gonna good. say too much, y'all. Y'all gonna wait, have to tune in to the show. Y'all gonna have to tune in to the show. Y'all gonna have to tune in to the show. Of course. Okay. It's, it's coming out on the premiere of the show. Y'all gonna the have FaceTime. to tune in but the to Urban Fox TV. Yeah. 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 Yes. So this was recorded all the way back then. Yeah, because we was actually recording uh, another TV show prior to the TV prior, show that we're prior doing now. To, to the TV show that we was already doing. So, we so you got him it. calling you, telling you yeah, because I think about this. You calling, we filming. I be like, hey, um, I gotta play call, devil's advocate. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I gotta play devil's advocate. You got big, you calling you, FaceTime, telling you this, right? Yeah. Do you have you I calling Nip after that? Of course. Oh, it's I ain't gonna lie. All right, so if you hear what he's saying, he's basically saying that this sounds like it was something that was already destined to be. Like, they, this was a hit or, you know, or like the okay was already given. They thought it was already carried out 30 minutes prior to when it was carried out. And that's real peculiar, peculiar you guys, in this situation. Because remember, one of the biggest things about the fact that Eric Holder actually emmed Nipsey was the fact that Eric Holder apparently allegedly was supposed to be from the same crew. It's just that he had done some unsettling things and he just wasn't messing with him like that. So at this rate, you're kind of you, you, it does start to make you wonder who gave you permission to do this? Why would you just do this out of the blue or, you know, what's really going on? Because if I know somebody don't like me very seldomly am I in their face anyways, unless it was tech to be carried out stick with me now now on the flip side y'all i don't know if y'all saw a few months ago and i'm actually not even really gonna name names but there was a particular rapper that was shot at when he was shot at he um another rapper insinuated that he was already uh m'd they was like rest in peace to that boy uh rip to that boy and the thing about it is it's like he wasn't yet or he wasn't even touched you know so it's like what information did you get or how was you already up on game about what was happening over at my stuff so this puts me in the mind of that like you mean to tell me you so much up on game on the streets that you know 30 minutes before i even get m'd that i was supposed to be m and not because you were saying that it's coming 
but because you thought the job was already carried out. That seems like you were in cahoots with whoever was doing this. Maybe you sent that hit, allegedly, right? So a lot of people um, definitely going to feel some type of way. I already see the comments coming um, in the in the sections on No Jumper and stuff like this. But do y'all think that Big U had anything to do with Nipsey Hussle's M? Because it is very peculiar to... And I just want to throw out there, Loose Cannon says that it's going to be in his... He, they were filming for something. So he can't make this up. Like, he's not lying. He's not, you know, just throwing something out there. It's going to be on film, the FaceTime call that he gets from Big U. On top of that, he said that 30 minutes after that call, Nipsey did end up getting M'd. So that goes to show that this may have been a, a conspiracy to commit or, um, you know, just something that was pre-planned, premeditated. And that as a new layer two things it does kind of settle different with me because a lot of people will be like well dang loose why you took so long to say something like the man has perished for a few years now and at the end of the day it's like you could have been said something because there's an investigation going on you know they sentencing news and all this like what's going on um and technically i want i want to know is this considered snitching you guys because Technically, everybody loves Nipsey to the point where we, his, 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 you know, we mourned him across the nation. Um, and not only the nation, I'm pretty sure I seen Chinese people doing Nipsey hustle tributes and everything. So at the end of the day, it's like this man was a little bit more instrumental than your average crip, than your average just gangbanger, than your average just person on the block. So you do have more people that'll be interested in what really happened. And at that rate, um, if you were going to tell it now, why not tell it then? It's like, is this snitch? Because obviously now this has to be reevaluated um, to kind of insinuate Big U in this case, which was a large case. So again, y'all, like, I just want to know what you think is going to be coming of this. They are saying protect Big, uh, or not Big U, but protect Loose Cannon at all costs because at the end of the day he just revealed some information that could be detrimental to his household to his legacy to his whole situation if this is the type of dude that big U is if big U is the type of person that sick people on you then and, and he could take out nipsey then a person like loose cannon would be easy work for him right so again i just want to know what you guys think this is for entertainment purposes all you know uh, at all times, you guys, I don't know what really happened. I'm listening to what Loose Cannon is saying. Do I believe him? Yes, I do believe him. But like I said, I wasn't there. So this isn't coming out of my mouth. I just want to know what you guys think of this information. And do you think that Big U had something to do with Nipsey's um, M? And in that at that rate, why? Now we get into the rabbit hole of why. What was the relationship like with Big U what was really going on? So I want to know a little bit more information about that. But in the meantime, you guys, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Um, click the notification bell so that you can get notified when I post more videos like these. And also hit the like button so you can let YouTube know that we are here. You guys, it's a free way to support the channel. And I definitely appreciate every single like I get here. With that being said, I definitely want to thank you guys for tapping in. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for your time. Bye.